Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about the best drugstore makeup in the world according to all of you. So this video was inspired by a series over on Ali Glein's channel where she regularly polls her audience and asks them different questions related to makeup and then she shares the results in a follow-up video. I just thought it was such a fun idea and I'd love to see what you all think about certain topics in makeup and this was also requested by two viewers, Michelle and Megan. So thank you guys for suggesting this and I'll go ahead and leave Ali's channel linked in my description box in case you want to head over and check out her videos as well. So I posted a link to a Google form that I made over on my socials the other day and I asked basically what are your favorite drugstore products in each category like primer, highlighter, blush, foundation, etc. And I was overwhelmed by the amount of responses I got. I got hundreds and hundreds. So I ended up putting them into a spreadsheet and sorting them just so that it made it a little bit easier to tally up the results. And I have to say some of the results really, really did surprise me. So we're gonna go ahead and walk you through those. I'll also tell you kind of what came in second and some honorable mention products as well. So the first category that I have is primer and in the number one spot was actually the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. You all are absolutely loving this one and I totally get why because this really helps your makeup to last all day. So this has a really sticky gel-like texture that really helps your makeup to grip to your skin. And on me, it also adds just a little bit of a glow as well, which is really nice. I definitely reach for this one on days that I want my makeup to last a little bit longer. If I'm gonna be out all day or at an event, it's amazing for that. So the product that actually came in number two is e.l.f.'s Putty Primer. And that one surprised me a little bit because I never really got along with that one, but so many of you guys loved it. And I think that's one reason I love doing this video is because I can tell what you guys are into versus just me sitting up here all the time and telling you what I like. So this was very eye-opening. And then just a few honorable mentions that got quite a few votes as well. The e.l.f. Halo Glow, the new one, I love that one. Um, the Jelly Pop Primer from e.l.f. as well. The Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrate primer got a lot of votes and I was really surprised by that because I don't hear a lot of people talking about hard candy and my personal favorite L'Oreal Studio Secrets did get quite a few votes and also the Milani no pore zone which is a really nice smoothing primer as well so moving on to foundation the number one choice for you guys was the L'Oreal infallible Freshwear 24 hour foundation this was another one that was very surprising to me because this foundation is definitely not my favorite I'm actually wearing it today and I feel like it looks good on camera. This is a foundation that has a really thin fluid texture and I feel like on my dry skin, it looks amazing at first. But as the day wears on, I feel like my skin just starts to dry out and look really super parched. But obviously we all have different skin types and even other people who are dry may still get along with this one. Skin is so weird that way. And then in the number two spot, this one actually only lost to the infallible by one vote. And that is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Serum. And I have to say, I don't love that one either. For me, both this one and that one have denatured alcohol very high at the top of the list. So they just dry out my skin because my skin is so dry to begin with. But you all absolutely love that one. And then in third place was the L'Oreal H Perfect, which I really love that one. That one feels kind of like a moisturizer or BB cream. It's very hydrating on my dry skin. So I love that one. And then other honorable mentions were the Maybelline Fit Me, both the dewy and smooth, which I happen to really love and also the matte version. The number seven Lift and Luminate was another big one and I love that foundation as well. The Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream, that's another really good one. And also the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. So those were some as well that you guys really enjoy a lot. For concealer, your top pick was the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser. I've loved this one for so many years and this one won by a landslide. So many of you love it. It has a really thin, lightweight texture. It looks pretty much invisible under your eyes and it's very forgiving if you have fine lines or dryness. I wouldn't say it gives a ton of coverage but it's great at just brightening up your under eye area which is why I really love it. In the number two spot, we had the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. A lot of you really love that one too. And then um, honorable mention wise, we have the Catrice True Skin Concealer. That's another big favorite of mine. It has really great coverage. The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. That's another one that I really enjoy a lot. The Milani Conceal Imperfect, another amazing formula. And the NYX Bear With Me. 
Moving on to your favorite drugstore powder, the winner was the number seven Lift and Luminate powder. So this powder is an incredible powder. It's so good. Having really dry skin, I don't wear powder very often, but this is one that I can definitely get away with. It doesn't look cakey or powdery. It's super finely milled, very smooth. It's a good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury powder and just overall amazing if you want that blurred out look and to minimize your pores, it's fantastic. And then number two on your list was actually the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, which I've never tried myself, but it's making me want to test it out now because so many of you said that one as well. So it kind of piqued my curiosity a little bit. Um, and then honorable mention, we had the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. That one had a lot of votes. Also the uh, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I've never tried that one either. Then we have the Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder and then the e.l.f. Halo Glow. Your favorite drugstore bronzer by far was the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. So this one got a ton of votes. I have it here in the shade bronzer, which I think is a great color for me. It's warm, but I don't think it's overly orange. I personally love the coconut smell that it has. I know it bothers some people, but this bronzer just has such an amazing velvety soft texture and it blends out on the skin so seamlessly. It's been a favorite of mine for a really long time and I can definitely see why all of you guys love it. And then your second favorite bronzer is also another favorite of mine and that's the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer. I love that formula. It's again, just so silky and smooth on your skin. It never gets muddy. It's a beautiful powder. And honorable mention, I had a bunch of people say the Flower Heat Wave Bronzer, which is another big favorite of mine. It has a little bit of a glow to it, but it's a baked formula. And a lot of votes were also split between two L'Oreal bronzers, the new Infallible one and also the Lumi bronzer. And both of those are really nice. The Lumi one has a little sheen to it. The Infallible one is matte. Both powders are beautiful. And also the new Revolution Cream Bronzer also got quite a few votes and I happen to really love that one as well. So those were all your picks for bronzer. Next for blush, this one would have been such a hard decision for me because there's so many blushes that I really love. But for you guys, number one was the Milani Baked Blushes. And a bunch of you had mentioned Luminoso as your favorite shade. I have just about all the shades that it comes in because I also really, really love this formula. I think they're spectacular. Each shade has varying degrees of shimmer. Some like Berry Amore, which I'm wearing today, doesn't have quite as much. Some of them have a ton of shimmer and are almost like a blush lighter, but the baked formula just glides across your skin and just sits so nicely. And again, it's just really forgiving. I feel like these are a great dupe for the Laura Geller blushes. So these are definitely an awesome blush and one of my favorites at the drugstore too. Number two on the list was Essence's The Blush. Those are also a really great formula. I love mine. I kind of wish they came in more colors, honestly, because they only come in a few, but they're maybe $3 and they have a really velvety soft formula. They're actually nicely pigmented. You don't really need a lot. So a little bit goes a long way. Those are really great. And then some honorable mentions, e.l.f. blushes got a ton of votes. I feel like if they weren't all split up between e.l.f.'s different blushes and it was just by brand, e.l.f. would have won. But you guys mentioned the putty blushes, the luminous putty blushes, blushes and the primer infused blushes from e.l.f. Those three added up were a huge category. You guys also mentioned the Flower Beauty blush bombs, the liquid blushes, as well as the Flower Flower Pots blushes. Those are a personal favorite of mine as well. And then um, the Alme Healthy Hue. I really love those too. I've talked about those a lot on my channel. Those are a great formula. And also the Milani Cheek Kiss Cream blushes. I would say those are my favorite cream blush at the drugstore. And then we have the Revlon powder blushes too. A lot of you mentioned those. Moving on to highlighter, your absolute favorite highlighter hands down is the e.l.f. Pure Nude. This one got the most votes by far. There wasn't even a comparison. I love this one too, just because it's so subtle. It's a beautiful kind of satiny finish highlight with no sparkle, no glitter. It really just makes your skin look like it's glowing from within. So it is absolutely beautiful. And I feel like it's a great everyday highlighter that actually looks good in person. Some of them I feel like look really great on camera, but in real life, not so much. This one actually looks good up close and in person. So it's amazing. And in the number two spot was actually another favorite that I just talked about in my last video. Actually, it's the Flower Beauty Day Glow Highlighting Glaze. This is a cream highlight and very similar to the Essence one. It doesn't have glitter or sparkle. It's more of a pearly finish and it's more of a subtle formula that looks really, really natural. And then some other favorites of yours were the Flower Beauty Shimmer 
Martin Strobe Highlighting Palette. Oh my gosh, this is such a good formula. If you haven't tried this one, they're amazing. They're a little bit more bold of a highlight, but super smooth. A lot of you also voted for the ColourPop Super Shock highlighters, and in particular, the shade Flexitarian was mentioned several times. The Maybelline Master Chrome highlighters got a lot of love from you guys. Also, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighters, especially Blossom Glow, that particular shade a bunch of you guys mentioned, and the Revlon Skin Lights highlighter, which I personally, I love that one for a bolder highlight. The shade Daybreak Glimmer is actually like a spot on dupe for the Amrezy highlight from ABH, so that's another really, really good one. Next up, when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, it honestly wasn't even close. It was ColourPop all the way. You guys love ColourPop eyeshadows. Some of you mentioned specific palettes, others just talked about ColourPop in general, just loving their formula. I myself have so many ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. I was collecting them for a while until my collection just kind of got out of control. Now I sort of just buy the ones that I'm really interested in, but I think ColourPop has a great formula and they're affordable, drugstore price. I don't know if you can really say that they're drugstores since they're not found in drugstores. The closest thing would be in the drugstore section of Ulta, but the majority of you guys voted for them, so I guess you kind of consider them drugstore as well. But in the number two spot, actually there were two brands tied for number two. That was the Essence Six Pan Palettes and the Elf Bite Size Palettes. Those got a ton of votes as well. And I agree. I think both of them have an outstanding formula. I love how affordable they are and they come in so many different colorways and options. It's just really fun to kind of collect all of those. And then for honorable mention, a lot of you mentioned BH Cosmetics. Even though they're not really around anymore, I'm not quite sure what's going on with Makeup Revolution taking them over. They haven't really released anything new yet, so we'll see but a lot of you mentioned BH. Also, the Catrice 5 in a Box palettes got quite a few votes. Elf's larger palettes, the 18 pan ones, also got quite a number of votes. And also the Flower Beauty Desert Lights Jungle Lights palettes got a ton of votes. Um, Profusion palettes got a lot of votes. And then the L'Oreal Infallible singles and the Maybelline singles also got quite a few votes. And I was surprised I didn't see more people talking about the LA Girl palettes. I don't know if they just weren't like at the forefront of your mind, but I think those have a good form formula too. When it comes to eyeliners, your number one pick was the LA Girl Shockwave Liners. I have all of these shades that they had sent to me a while ago and these are amazing eyeliners. They're so creamy. They remind me a lot of the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliners. And not only are they really creamy and easy to draw on, they don't skip, but they also are really long lasting too. They're waterproof. So these are an amazing eyeliner at a super affordable price. In the number two spot was the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I actually don't have that one. I'm not even sure that I've ever tried it before, but I definitely want to try it now because so many of you guys mentioned it. A few more that you also really enjoy were the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liner. That's another one I haven't tried, but I definitely, like it's on my radar. Um, the Revlon Color Stay Liners, a lot of people mentioned. Um, the Physician's Formula Booster Liquid Liner. That's a really good one that I actually forgot about. Um, the Maybelline Hyper Easy Liquid Liner and the Essence Extreme Lasting Liner. So those were some more favorites of yours for sure. Um, for mascara, this one actually surprised me because I feel like this mascara is very polarizing for a lot of people. I've seen people hating it and absolutely loving it. It's the Maybelline Sky High. This was your number one by quite a bit. I'm one of the people that really loves this formula. It gives so much length. It doesn't give as much volume, but I actually like having length more than I do volume. It just makes my lashes super long and also it lasts all day. It doesn't smudge or flake, so it's a really good one. But in the number two spot was the one that I thought was gonna win and that was the Essence Lash Princess. I think I like the way that one makes my lashes look even more than the Sky High, but that one smudges. That's what kind of knocks it down a little bit for me, possibly for you guys as well. Um, some other favorites of yours were the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara, L'Oreal Lash Paradise, and L'Oreal Voluminous. Those two were kind of tied. Uh, the Maybelline Falsies, which I haven't heard anybody talk about in a long time, but I remember loving that one. I feel like I have to give that one another shot. And the Milani Anti-Gravity Mascara. A lot of you mentioned that one as well. Next up, when it comes to brow products, I just kind of made it a general brow category, but um, when it comes to brow gel, your number one pick was the e.l.f. Wow Brow. This is very similar to Benefit's Gimme Brow. It has that same tiny little brush, and it has the tint and the little fiber 
fibers. It gives a nice amount of hold as well, and it's only a couple bucks, so it's a really good option. And when it came to pencils, your favorite was the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This one I would say is a great dupe for Anastasia's Brow Wiz. It's one of my favorites as well. I have it in the shade taupe, and it's one that I've repurchased over and over again. In the number two spot, you actually voted for the Essence Make Me Brow, which is super similar to the Elf Wow Brow. I feel like it's almost identical. And same thing with the number two brow pencil. It was the Elf Ultra Precise Brow Pencil, and that one is super similar to the NYX. So I kind of feel like the top two brow gels and the top two brow pencils are pretty interchangeable. It's probably just a matter of preference as far as brands go, but I think they're all so similar. And then just a few other brow products you guys liked. We had the LA Girl Shady Slim Pencils, the Milani Weekend Brow, also the NYX Lift and Snatch, and the Thick It Stick It from NYX. When it comes to lip liners, NYX was at the top of the list again. These are just the regular NYX lip pencils that you guys voted for. So they're the wooden pencils that you have to sharpen. They're not like a twist up. And these are really beautiful. The two shades that I happen to have are Peekaboo Neutral and Citrine, but I would definitely get more of these. I think they're a great formula. They're super creamy. Sometimes these pencil liners can be a little dry and these are not but I feel like even though they're creamy, they still have staying power and they stay put all day. So these are great. And then in the number two spot, you actually voted for Milani's Color Statement lip liners, which I don't even know that I've ever tried those. So I think I need to get on that and see what all the hype is about because you guys really love those. It had a ton of votes. And then for honorable mention, we had the Essence Stay 8 Hour lip liners. I really, really enjoy those a lot. And also the Soft and Precise pencils, which are also a wooden pencil like the NYX. Those are beautiful as well. They used to have a mauve shade that I really loved and I think it was discontinued, which I was so bummed about. A lot of you also love the Koki retractable lip liners. Those are some of my favorite too. And the Ellie Girl Shockwave ones, which are very similar to their eye pencils. When it comes to regular lipsticks, your number one pick actually surprised me a lot. It's the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks. I only have one shade of these actually and it's the one that I'm wearing in the video today. It's Rose Velvet, but I actually really love this formula. It's super creamy. It has a gorgeous satin finish. It has no scent to it, which is great. And it was actually one of you guys that convinced me to buy this one in this specific color, but I really wanna go back and get more. I keep meaning to, but whenever I'm at the drugstore, it just kind of slips my mind. But these are such a good underrated lipstick. So I definitely recommend checking them out if you like a really creamy formula. And in the number two spot, we have the Maybelline Color Sensational lipsticks. A lot of you guys really love those as well. Um, and then honorable mention, we have the Milani Color Fetish, the matte ones and the shiny ones. I feel like those votes were kind of split right down the middle, depending on your preferences. I like the shiny ones ones over the matte ones, but I know a ton of people love the matte. Also the Maybelline Superstay Ink and the Superstay Crayon got a ton of votes too. I haven't tried the Superstay Ink, but I love the Superstay Crayons. Those are beautiful. The Flower Beauty Perfect Pout and Petal Pout. I would say those are probably my number one lipstick. Those got quite a few votes as well as the L'Oreal Color Riche lipsticks. So those were all pretty close to the top. And then when it comes to lip gloss, there was one very clear winner. Nothing else was even close to this. And that's the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. These were a landslide victory. I didn't even have to count them because I'm just scrolling through pages of like Lifter Gloss, Lifter Gloss. Everybody loves these. I can't argue with you. They are amazing. They're my top pick. If I were to pick, they're so smoothing and so hydrating on your lips. They have the hyaluronic acid to kind of plump things up, but they don't burn or sting. And they have an amazing cupcake scent. They're incredible. They just make your lips look so, so good. And then um, in second place, we had the NYX Butter Gloss. So this was way down the list, but definitely had the second highest amount of votes. A few more that you guys mentioned were the e.l.f. Sheer Slick Lipsticks, which I think technically are lipstick, but they're kind of like a tinted balm. Uh, the Ride or Die lip glosses from e.l.f. You guys really love those. The Milani Fruit Fetish lip glosses and the Milani Keep It Full were also big favorites of yours as well. And then the last category that I had was Setting Spray. And this one was also a landslide. Nobody was even close to this. It's the Milani 
make it last. And this is also the one that I would pick if I were answering the poll 100%. This is an awesome setting spray because it really does make a difference. I've used setting sprays that felt nice going on. Maybe they smelled nice. They had a nice mister, but I didn't really feel like they kept my makeup in place all day. And I feel like this one definitely does. I noticed a huge difference in longevity plus having dry skin because I don't like to wear powder all that much. I much prefer a setting spray to keep everything in place than a powder. I also use this to wet my eyeshadow brushes if I want to foil a shimmer shade and it works amazing for that too. So this is just all around like an amazing setting spray. If you haven't tried it, highly recommend it. And in the number two spot was the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This is another great one. I haven't had it in a while now because when it was time to repurchase, I just went back to the Milani but the Morphe one, it has the best mister of any setting spray I've ever tried. You just press it down and it just continues to mist all around. You don't have to keep pressing the button. And it's like the Evian mist, how it goes on. It's just so fine. You don't get any water droplets on your face. It's beautiful. Another one you guys really loved was the Elf Dewy Coconut Mist. That one got so many votes too. It was really close to the Morphe. They were like neck and neck. Um, the Catrice Prime and Fine also got a lot of votes as well as the Flower Beauty Hydrating Setting Spray. I really like the mist on that one too. That one's really good. And then also the NYX Bear With Me Setting Spray and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Those also got quite a number of votes as well. So anyway, guys, that about wraps it up. I'd love to hear your thoughts now. I know I've given you my thoughts as we go. So I wanna hear what you guys think about the winners. Do you agree with them? Do you not agree? I'd love to hear from you as always. And this was honestly so much fun. I really feel like I know you guys and your preferences a little bit better now. So we'll definitely have to do this again. If you have any suggestions for things that I should poll you guys on next, be sure to leave those down in the comment section as well. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on your Sunday. As always, I really appreciate it so much. And if you're new here and you like drugstore makeup and dupes and unsponsored reviews, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thank you guys. And I'll see you all in my next video. Take care. Bye.